In a previous video, I mentioned that I liked using MPV as a multimedia player. And something I forgot to mention in that video was the music tagger that I use for adding album artwork to my media files so that when MPV opens, I have a little graphic instead of a blank black box. We are looking at Music Brains Picard right now on Spatry's Cup of Linux. Let's begin. Uh, something I mentioned in the past when I'm playing uh, media files uh, like uh, AUG, uh, MP3, that sort of thing in MPV, I have it configured to where when I open the file, you'll see a black box appears. And uh, this allows me to have uh, control over the, over the media. Uh, however, it doesn't, this particular media doesn't have any graphics or anything tagged on it. These are actually files I made myself. And a lot of times that happens because I'm ripping data from uh, music CDs and that sort of thing because I want the music uh, on my computer. All right, uh, let's go ahead and close this and uh, let's have a look at the uh, Music Brains uh, Picard website. I'll have a link in the description below which uh, goes to my website and it'll uh, get you to this page here. Or you can just open your web browser and go to uh, picard.musicbrains.org. That is with a Z, Music Brains. <laughs> and uh, from here, you can uh, get more information and download this. It's cross-platform, uh, so this will work on your Windows or Mac. But they also have instructions for your uh, distribution family of choice. And, of course, if you're feeling adventurous, you can download the source code and compile this yourself. This is a handy little gem. Uh, I have not explored all of the features uh, that this is capable of because, as I indicated, I use this for my own personal uh, categorization of music. Um, but we uh, have plenty of different uh formats that this supports. Uh, just by clicking on the Help button and About, uh, it gives you a list of all the supported formats, uh, probably more than I could ever think of using here. And uh, I'm going to give you an example now of uh, how I use this software. All right, so what you can do is you can just uh, add files or select to add folder. I'm just going to select to add a folder here. And... Um, Here's the folder already. We've got that selected. Uh, so just navigate to the folder you want and select to open. All right, and you'll see that I have uh, four files. I have an AUG file, an MP3 file, a FLAC file, and a WAV file. And uh, I'm, not, I'm probably not going to do all of these. Uh, and actually, I just took uh, an audio stream from one of my videos and uh, made some examples so that we have uh, some examples to work with. Obviously, I can't show copyrighted information uh, in my show here. Uh, but basically, you select the file of your choice, okay, and then um, you have the original values, which you can't change, but in the new value field here, you can put in uh, what you want. I'm not even going to bother to put in a date. And then, for putting on your artwork, it's just as simple as drag and drop. Grab your album art and pop it in there. All right, and then when you're done, just press save. And then, when we go to open up this example A AUG file, instead of having a black window, now we have some nice artwork 
to go with the audio. How cool is that? And you know, and I love the lightweight MPV. Vid and if you haven't seen that video, check it out because this is a really nice lightweight player, and uh, I love it to bits. And now having uh, this nice audio tagging software, uh, I can actually put the artwork of my choice on any media file. Now this does have lookup and scan capabilities. It's my understanding they do have a database online. Uh, where you can uh, get artwork and that sort of thing. I personally haven't put it to the test because if it, you know, if it's uh, an album uh, that I went out and purchased and I want to uh, rip the data, usually I'll just scan the album cover and then just crop it in my uh, image editor and just do the artwork myself. Um, that's my preferred method of doing it. You know, I make a fun little activity for myself. Uh, you know, I'm kind of crazy that way. I like to, you know, make my own artwork and that sort of thing. Very handy little gem. And if you think this is something that you would like to use, I recommend that you download it and give it a try. Mm -hmm.